I purchased this hardware store lightsaber secondhand, and I'm not sure who made it or what it's named. I'm just naming it Rustic Avenger, well, just because I want to. So apparently the original maker sold these on eBay. I, I don't know. It could have been somebody that kind of constructed these and sold quite a few of them, or maybe it was a one-off. I'm not really sure, but here it is, Rustic Avenger, and it's just kind of a neat hardware store lightsaber. So a hardware store lightsaber is basically a lightsaber hilt that's typically used for kind of cosplay purposes or display purposes. And it's made from components that you can find in the hardware store, sometimes a home improvement store. So they'll have kind of different piping, PVC, different stuff like that incorporated into the design. So let's start at the top. In the emitter section, we have sort of a pipe section here. It appears to be painted kind of a gold color and some of that is inside this emitter section as well and this emitter section speaking of that this emitter shroud it's sort of a cutout piece so it seems to be done by hand it has a little rustic charm uh, for that reason but it has a nice kind of um, shininess to the shroud there is a bit of a cut here or a scratch that's probably just something that happened after the original person had this hilt, but you know, it adds some weathering to it. We have a few greeblies here. Those are just, you know, little random components. Not sure what this guy is doing, but oh you know, well, <laughs> it kind of moves around um, and it just, you know, adds some more character to the hilt. Moving down, we have this kind of grip section here and uh, that's pretty neat too. So, um, this is definitely kind of a plumbing aisle type of thing that's sort of an accordion style to it. And then we have more um, kind of piping down here. And then finally this PVC component on the bottom. In fact, it says probably like the model number and all of that um, on the bottom of this sort of PVC style pommel. And then there's this D-ring that's attached with this screw. And so that's definitely a nice feature too because that means you can wear it. So this probably was intended to be kind of a basic cosplay piece, you know, um, very inexpensive, uh, that sort of thing. This is the type of thing that you could make at home. I know a lot of people will make their own hardware store lightsabers and that's a way that some people actually get into the hobby. You know, maybe way back when they made something like this you know, with like $20, $30 worth of parts um, or less, depending if it's more of a found parts thing where they just kind of salvage stuff. But this is a neat hilt, you guys. I like it. I like that it's a very different vibe from a lot of the other hilts that I have. And it is something that people can just create at home by themselves, um, you know, just using parts that they either already have or, you know, take a, qu a quick visit to a hardware store, or home improvement store, and maybe pick up a few extra things and see what you come up with. So there's neat creativity here. And, oh, I forgot one feature that I also like. There's kind of this, it's almost like a bike reflector or this sort of circular red reflector piece at the top that will catch the light when there's some light. So it kind of hints at the presence of a blade without actually having a blade at all. So I thought that was a neat touch um, by whoever designed this. But, you know, maybe you'll find some inspiration here or maybe you'll kind of look for some type of seller that offers these types of hilts, but this is sort of a hardware store style lightsaber. I'm calling it Rustic Avenger because it's rustic and it also seems a little, well, it seems a little dark side. It's got a, a red thing going on here and uh, yeah, a few dark elements, but here it is, Rustic Avenger, I'm starting to ramble. So it's probably time to end the video.